Hello, this is Brett Anderson, and this is my theme park called Ink and Escape. Okay, so down here we have the souvenir shop. Oh, it's hard to read. It says souvenirs vary in price by video of your experience for only $3.95 and enjoy your stay. And here is our souvenirs. Plenty of armor and helmets to protect you from the rain. I don't know why I have an arrow in my hand. I don't know who I'm threatening. Oh, I, sw <laughs> I switched. Yeah, this is a video of me doing this. And here we have an outside dining area. A great view of the wonderful park. Very good landscape. I had to build some of these mountains. <laughs> this is Monka's Munchery, where you choose a grain, you choose a meat. It's twelve ninety five and maize, which is like corn. I'm pretty I'm sure you know that, and water, as well as served for twelve ninety five. Go in to get a little inside dining area since it's raining all the time. Authorized for snow only, so I can't really go in there. I'm not really allowed. So we'll just leave them alone. And here I'm going to my arcade game. And uh, my character is Monka. He's a warrior, but the point of the theme park is that you are the warrior. I didn't uh, quite look at those signs there, but it says that there's a, you gotta get a waiver signed because you're shooting a bow and arrow. And you just grab the arrows, and you gotta hit all the targets to get a souvenir, a free souvenir from the souvenir shop. Most people would miss that one. That's like all, all theme parks have a rigged game. That's kind of rigged. It's kind of impossible to see that. I just know because I put that there. And... Well, I'm kind of looking at the screen. I hope I was recording this whole thing. I'm kind of just looking at the screen. And I'm done with the arcade game. I'm not going to get a souvenir because I'm the owner of the park. That would be pretty cheap. Going through the line here. It must be on a really, uh, really not so busy day. All the rides all to myself. Even in the restaurant to myself besides the cooks. And I'm, of course, going into aisle one. I'm hardly going to any other aisle. But then I jumped aisle two. Perfect. And here, that's such a slow ascension, like many of the um, roller coasters we've been accustomed to. I'll revisit those signs later because you can't really see them. Driving by the bats. I'll revisit those as well. And we're going down. Going down. Going around the mountain. Getting a view of the surrounding area. Getting a real, it's going pretty fast for going up, but getting a real view of everything. It's a little bit hard to see because of the insane amount of snow. Going around the top of this mountain. Looks like we're gonna run into the mountain, but I promise you we won't. And we're also gonna go around this mountain as well. I was planning on doing a flip, like I did a sketch for a flip, but I don't think that's possible in this world. <laughs> I think the minecart would just fall or something like that. Actually it does, I tried it. Um, from here, typically you'd have a great view of the village, but as I said, it's, well, how's it going snowing? And now it's raining. And that sign says, good job escaping, because it's the ink and escape. So the whole premise is that you're escaping the Aztecs. It's not very historically accurate, but somewhat based on history i remember if i remember correctly from uh ap euro and you will not get away there is no escape an old aztec used to it's an abandoned post do not enter aztecs only it's their little gold cave i went right past the right past the bats i was planning on revisiting them but then i forgot what i was doing the bats are the Trees are getting a weird color because it finally is sunny. And that's a grand view of the park.